Welcome to the channel. In this video, we will go through to each element in this application and help you understand the parts of the app and how to replicate a similar user interface concept. But before we start, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you're always updated to new releases in the future. We will start in creating a simple navigation bar in the left side of the app. The navigation bar will help your user to change section in the app. Take note that this concept is almost used by every known system, which is crucial in a good experience of your users. First, we will go to Components section and then click New Component. Do not forget that in the component you created, you can change the height and width, add icons, labels, buttons, and other elements. You can also set properties, which is similar to using screens. What you want to do in this navigation component is to create a small portion banner in the upper part of the navigation, add an icon or image that represent your app or company. Then you can add a label as name of the application. This will help your users to identify the app they are using right from the get-go. Then you will repeat this process to add multiple different icons the best represents every section of the app. This will then help your user to visually locate the sections in the app. Once you have changed all icons based its appropriate section, you can now add actual label or description of the section for each icon. Instead of using label elements, you can opt to use buttons. This is because of the feature of buttons to show a hand small icon when being hovered, and this feature will help every users to easily understand that the label hovered can be clicked or selected. You can repeat this process by copy and pasting every button, then changing its text and properties such as colors, fills, border color, and others. Change every text in the button based on the name of the section you developed in the app. You can have overview or home section, projects, dashboard section, campaign page, schedule page, payouts, and settings section for admin. Once of the best feature in Power Apps is the capability to get the image of the current user. The image is based on the uploaded picture of the employee on its Microsoft account or Microsoft user. You can replicate this feature by adding image and on its image property, type user, open and close parenthesis dot image. This will automatically show the image of the current user from it Microsoft profile. You can also identify current user's name by simply writing user open and close parenthesis dot full name. While if you want to see its full email address, write user open and close parenthesis dot email. At the last, you might want to change the color background of the navigation based on the themes or color palette you're following. In this example, we will use a darker background and will change all color formats to white or gray across all texts and icons. To add this component, go back to Screens, go to Insert. Under Custom, select the name of the component to automatically add it in the screen. Now, let's start creating our app header, which you can see in the upper part of the screen. This is really simple to do, which you will start by creating a container. Select the container, add icons for the section and icons in the right side for current user email and current date and time. You can type user.email and now open and close parenthesis to get the current date and time. You can also change the background of the container and adjust the color formatting of all elements inside the container. Choose white, gray, or lighter color for icons and label for dark background. In this portion, let's identify first the elements used inside the container. First is the icon, then we will have two labels and image which gives as gradient effect in every container. To create the card, first add container that will contain all elements. Then add icons that represent your KPI, add two labels. The first label is the title of the KPI, then the second label will be the total or actual result value. To give a gradient effect inside the card, first step is to save the gradient color as picture then add image inside the container. In the image element, select and search for the image. You will just repeat the process, copy and paste the whole container, change the KPI description and value, and change the image to another gradient color picture. In the app, make sure that all cards have similar width and height and white spacing in between. 
To create a donut chart in your app, you can create first a pie chart which is an available element in Power Apps. Since this is a composite elements, you can remove other elements such as title and legends in the pie chart. Since the almost difference between a donut chart and pie chart is the hole inside the chart, you can create a circle inside the pie chart, then resize the height and the width according to your need. You can also add labels on top of the circle to give better information to your user. Take note that there is no donut chart element currently available in Power Apps. You can also create an SVG donut chart if needed. In this part, we will create a 100% column and bar graph inside a gallery. This is one of the technique to replicate other non-existing charts in Power Apps, which is available in Excel graphs and Power BI visuals. Do not forget that there is 2000 rows limitation existing in Power Apps, which will limit you in getting all data from your data source. You need to learn how to filter and create collection properly so that you can still replicate these visuals in Power Apps. The steps are really easy. First, create a a blank flexible height gallery, then insert or add a container. Inside the container add two rectangle shape. The first rectangle shape will be the 100%, and while the other will be based on percentage multiplied to the size of the first shape. You can apply this concept in a blank horizontal gallery and follow the same format, but instead doing in horizontal manner. Once created the gallery and container, you can adjust the sizes of the second rectangle by following this example. Make sure that the first rectangle shape and container have the same width or height. Say for example in your data, the value is 90%, then the second rectangle must take the 90% size of the first rectangle by multiply it. You can test the auto adjustment of the size of the shape by changing the percentage. While for the column graph, you will need to adjust the height of the second rectangle shape by multiplying the height of the first rectangle and the percentage that it will take. Then to adjust the Y position, the height of the second rectangle must be subtracted to the height of the container so it will automatically adjust vertically. You can also use the available column chart in Power Apps. Similar to Pie Chart, Column Chart is a composite element. You can remove the legends and title labels to it. To change the color of the bar, you can go to Item Color Set. If you add one RGB color, Power Apps will automatically populate possible color palettes. You can also change the label angle and change the item's gap between columns. And finally, creating a table gallery in Power Apps. You can start by creating a blank flexible height gallery, then add your elements such as text for each columns. Then you may also add buttons to trigger any action such as approval or dispute or go to next section of the app. You can also add images inside the gallery. However, you also need to create labels above your gallery since gallery doesn't inherit the column name of the data. This is really simple to do and gives you a lot of freedom to use a customized column name. Most of the time a data table is usual use case of a gallery. This means that there will be a lot of time that you will create a table summary using gallery elements. That's it for this video. Before you leave, please don't forget to like and subscribe to show your support in this channel. Also, you can leave your message and comments to help us with the next content we will release.